Hey, this is John. I'm at Shoreline Music in Durango, Colorado, and I'm here today with a truly one-of-a-kind instrument. Uh, now, I know a lot of custom guitars and such are kind of one-of-a-kind, but this guitar is one-of-a-kind because I can find no evidence that anyone anywhere has ever built an acoustic guitar out of this tone wood, Tenbuti. Now, a little background. Uh, as you know, here at Shoreline, if you've read our website or watched any of our videos, we are huge fans of Avalon guitars. Uh, in fact, such huge fans that the very first video we ever shot was an Avalon L220C, just because we love the guitar so much. Uh, and a couple years ago, Avalon reset or rebuilt their dealer network, and the first store they called was Shoreline Music. And I have to say we were really pleased uh, to be on that list, a very small list. Now, uh, this year at NAMM, uh, back in January, I was uh, having a cup of coffee with my good friend and brother, Steve McElraith. He's the head honcho over at Avalon. And he pulled out his iPhone and was flipping through some pictures of some wood sets uh, that they were hanging on to and waiting to put on guitars. And he came across this wood set that I'd never seen before. And I said, what is that? And he said, well, that's Tambuti. Uh, it's also known as African Cocobolo. And I said, have you ever built a guitar with it before? And he said, no. I said, well, great, build it for me. And so this is that guitar. I told him, go ahead and build the guitar that you guys want to build. I'm not going to give you any specs. Just put Tambuti on it, and you guys build the one that makes you the happiest. And so uh, it turned out gorgeous. This is a really sweet piece of alpine spruce, nice rosewood bevel here. And then, of course, the Tambuti. Um, so the only guitar like this in the world is this one right here. Uh, now... Uh, and of course, it sounds great. <laughs> that is just a really sweet sound. Now, on paper, uh, tambuti, uh, also sometimes called sandalwood, uh, it's a South African hardwood, Spirostachys africana, for anyone who's interested. Uh, and on paper, it's very, very similar to cocobolo, regular Mexican cocobolo. It's, uh, in terms of density and hardness, it's a lot like the Dalbergias, which includes Cocobolo and Brazilian Rosewood. Uh, and so based on that similarity on paper, I was expecting the wood to be, have kind of this sort of dense, lush meatiness that you tend to get with the Dalbergia woods. Um, but when we got the guitar, I was kind of pleasantly surprised because uh, this guitar actually has more of a sound that reminds me of the Blackwoods, the Acacias like uh, Koa, an African blackwood, or pardon me, uh, like Vanuatu blackwood or any of the South Pacific blackwoods. So uh, what that gives it is instead kind of this dry crispness with this really extended high and low end uh, that's really, really satisfying. Um, just have a listen here. In addition, of course, to the gorgeous sustain and everything else, there's really a chime in there. You know, I don't, I don't use this word often when I'm describing guitars because I like to reserve it for the very special ones, but I really feel like this guitar has a great piano nature to it, a kind of a chime that reminds me of a piano. Um, but enough talking. I'll play for a little bit just so you can hear and enjoy the guitar as much as I do. So you can hear they're super responsive to a light touch. Um, but of course, as with all Avalon guitars, there's uh, plenty of headroom as well. Just listen to that ring. That 
low resonance there. Just. This is a great guitar. Thank you, Steve McElraith and uh, all the builders at Avalon for building me this one-of-a-kind instrument. Um, how much else to say? This is a beauty. This is the Tambuti Avalon custom guitar. Thank you.